Well, hello and welcome back. Well, I'm on another project. My uh, mystery project's got put on hold for a little bit. It's starting to get uh, cold temperatures in here. So I've got to get the new heating system set up. So I'm getting that plumbed in now. Um, quick overview on how my heating and cooling systems work. Um, this back wall here is obviously the chilling wall and it funnels up through that pipe and then runs back and then cycles in those two IBC tanks over there so I've got 600 gallons of water that I use to, to cool and during summertime that also uh, helps cool the fish tanks and grow beds and Please excuse the mess. I've got so many things going on here. So, the problem with my current system <clears throat> is during the fall and spring, we get hot temperatures during the day and cold temperatures at night. And I have to make a decision on when I'm going to stop cooling and start heating, or in the spring, vice versa. So, I'm going to change this to where that tank over here is just going to be for the cooling and I'm setting up a new tank over here and this will be for the heating now this last winter I put in this uh, tankless <clears throat> excuse me tankless water heater and I would just run that when I needed to and runs off propane and then I've still got the, the rocket stove that's set up for burning pellets as a backup um, but it's you know it, it takes more time and I got to be out here to do that so this is a much simpler system um, as long as I'm not spending too much money on propane it, it's good so the way my heating system is going to work here is this tank here is the reserve got a pump down in there and the water comes up through the pump and then it will go through I've got a just a timer on here so I can set it up to to uh, kick on because uh, like during the day I don't need it running I don't need to be burning propane because you know especially on a day like this with the sun out I've still got my solar water heater and it does great um, and it doesn't burn propane so as long as the sun out sun's out on a day like this here it will maintain temperatures during the day just fine and so I've got to replumb that yet too and so that'll work in conjunction with this system here so I'll set that up on the timers when I want that to kick on during the night you know every couple hours or wherever the temperature is going to be so that'll go through the, the heater and come back in drop in the tank and then this pump the water is circulating that and it runs through these pipes here and those all run back over here and these pipes these are all temporary right down where they're at because I'm putting a grow bed like that I'm putting another one that will go back in here and those pipes will go underground under that tank and I'll insulate those um, so I've got to get that a little bit later but these there's the supply and return on these here and these come up into these tanks here so they're coming through the half inch packs here and it's coiled up down in there so that's the heat exchanger and here's one I just put in so I've got to fill that up with water um, and then that'll I'll sink that down and it kind of weight it down and that's the heat exchangers for the tanks and then it the water also circulates through these grow beds so under the aqua rocks I have in here I've got uh, three-quarter CBVC pipe that is down all through the bed here and the water circulates through that to heat the bed and the nice thing about these beds here too like today you know the sun's shining so that actually heats up that and that'll maintain the water temperature in there real well um, so it's just that's just working really good um, 
and then the water also comes over here and down in my in the ground here I've got four of the big tanks in there and those are the nutrients and this first tank is the digester and I've got coils in there for the heat exchangers so that all takes out um, the heat in there and then that's circulated out through the grow beds and I've got to replant my towers here yet I've just got some new lettuce started up down there um, microgreens grown in here got some ready to come back out I just put these here this is some butterhead salanova lettuce so I've got those started those are looking good. I just transplanted those uh, the other day. So I got more started. Got a lot more tires to fill up here. So that's kind of where what I'm working on right now. So I've about got this plumbed in here to start testing it and getting it ready. And then I got to get the solar heater hooked up. So that's where I'm at, and any comments or suggestions, I'll give you an update when I get this going as to how it looks and how it's performing, um, especially like the solar water heater. I've had a lot of questions on that, and I'll show you more on that when I get that plumbed in on how that's going to kick on and, and work there. So, Alright, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.